<clears throat> Alright. Just completed my first set of bounties as the Necro. And it's pretty fun so far. I'm definitely liking the playstyle. I did just find a nice scythe, so I'm wrecking stuff right now. Like plus damage on the weapon, so very strong. And I'm loving Corpse Explosion. It's so much fun. And it seems to do a lot of damage early on, so very good uh, skill to, like, very good area of effect, I mean to say. <clears throat> Can't remember the last time I sat down and played 1 to 70, other than the beginning of Season 10. These skeletons do quite a bit of damage, even though they only do not much, pretty much actually the same amount as you, with the active, but there's so many of them that you get so much out of it. So what I like to do is I like to send my skeletons on like the most powerful enemy, like elites, and then I go kill smaller stuff and make corpses that I can blow up like that. Seems to work out pretty well. I just destroyed Sedea in my first set of bounties there. Reflection pool, nice. Still trying to get the hang of remembering to call my skeletons over. Because other than that, they do like not quite as much damage as I'd like. Some nice bracers. That physical? Yeah. Seems like all of our stuff is physical right now, except for, I think, that. Yeah. Alright, so we can go kill Magda. Easy boss. With the, especially the bounty. You get a nice bounty chest. I found a Leoric's crown at, like, uh, like level 6. Back here. Yeah, see, they're, like, wrecking her. It's actually good to kill the minions for once in boss fights like these, because they generate the corpses. You can do a lot of damage. Ah, oh. Not used to control impairing effects because of vengeance on the demon hunter. Back here. Not done with you. Yeah, you see that? Boom, they like destroy her. Yeah! Oh, we got an axe. It's my second legendary now. Let's see what we got here. Some gloves, a shield. I, I did pick up a, a phylactery. phylactery. I have no idea how that's pronounced. Um, definitely seems to be... I mean, it gave me damage, so like right when I put it on, it was like extremely helpful. read that later. I seem to be very fond of uh, what, corpse explosions, so I haven't tried corpse lance yet. Yeah, I'm like one-shotting everything right now. I might bump the difficulty to expert. Oh, I unlocked the skill. I didn't even notice. Spear. Okay, I should identify that. Because it's probably going to be better than what I have now. Yeah. Oh, but it's it's a two-hander. Damn. Well, it rolled with attack speed. I don't know, let's see. Uh, you know what, it's enough damage. After this set of bounties, I think I'm going to raise the difficulty. Oh, that actually goes nice with the Necro. Like, the nice blood effect. Looks pretty cool. Oh, what the hell did I unlock? Oh, it's a curse. It's Decrypify. Reduce movement speed and reduce damage of affected enemies. Okay, so they take 20%. They deal 20% less damage. Okay, 
I see. Whew, that's a nasty hit. Okay, so it's is it is it like a certain range? Or do you use it like once? Like Oh okay, yeah, there. Well there you go. So I guess everything within that area. We'll do this, why not? <sighs> so, yeah! Well, that works nice. Well, I don't know if I like that <laughs> attack speed. I don't know, it's powerful. <clears throat> Hope the music I have in the background isn't too loud. Because it actually... I just remember that I have it. And the bounty's on the other side. Fuck. Hold on. Gotta go get the damn thing. <sighs> this video's I might do for the length of the beta, the necro beta. Um, probably gonna be a little boring, unless you're into watching kind of analysis things. Like, you know, I'm, I'm just doing these to kind of share my thoughts. Of what I have so far. I'll probably do these until I reach 70, maybe. Or I might do a set, like, when I hit do 70, I'll do some grifts and get blood shards for the, for the sets from the, from the dank meme vendor. I lost my shit when I saw that. This generator is so effective. I, th I think it's a little little OP that it kind of it hits so many enemies and you get 12 essence per enemy hit so like you can you can refill that thing in like two swings I keep thinking my skeletons are enemies so excuse me if I shoot at them oh can we chain that massacre bonus nope not for long on a level yeah the heck did that what was that guy here or did he spawn I don't even know where he came from. Shoulders. I have, no, I have everything but... Speaking of rings, I'm actually... No, I gotta kill one enemy. <laughs> Screw that. There. Let's go back to town and buy some rings. From the shop. Some, actually, I'm pretty sure you get them really early. Oh, while well, I was... Ugh. I did act three bounties because I was gonna go... I was gonna go pick up the cube. But I didn't. I finished the bounty and just left. I don't know why I bother repairing. I did find a squirts, which is nice. Uh, let's just finish these bounties and go get the cube. If I remember, watch, I won't. I mean, do I really need the cube for the PTR? I guess if I want to, well, yeah, if I want to, like, really test things. Like, I'm probably going to get Convention of Elements. And that'll be helpful, I guess, if I don't have that many sets. Because I don't think they've, 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 people have revealed legendaries from data mining, I think. And seen them in the cube. But we can't use them yet, so they can't prove quite as effective. slow them. Jeez, but I, before I even get to press my skeleton thing, they don't... Here, let's do that first. Yeah, see, they just, like, destroy everything. Yeah, I'm, after these bounties, I'm also gonna bump the difficulty. So I get more XP and drops. Oh, the skeleton counter is actually right for once. I've heard, uh... Like, bugs. Just still silly bugs with, like... The counter for skeletons not showing up right. Ooh. Um, but this this time it's just showing up right. I think when I started, I did start a character like last week, or not? Yeah, like, or was it last week? No, it was just a few days ago. Not last week. Um, but I only got to level three, and then I, I had to go to bed because I had school the next day. So. Um. I didn't complete a set of bounties. I think I did one bounty. And then I came on here today and did a set of bounties, and then I just decided, hey, I'll, I'll record this. So it seems like you can only detonate, like, 
I detonate a certain number of corpses at a time. I don't know if it says that in the skill or not. But it only seems to do like five or six at a time, and then you have to press it again. Because it says exploding all corpses within 11 yards. So like if I do this... Yeah, that didn't blow up all of them. Like you can see my mouse over that one. That's a little strange. This is some kind of cap. I'm willing to bet there's a legendary item that'll that'll make the radius for the amount of corpses bigger. Because the rune I'm using right now um, increases the explosion radius, not the actual corpse radius. Um, so I'm willing to bet there's like a legendary power for that. I'll pick up the glory. The glory. I didn't even mean to press that because nothing had died yet at that point, but they have. Ugh, I hate this tile set. Especially for greater rifts. I actually found a, a gem hoarder on my first bounty. <laughs> Leave it to me to find a gem hoarder on like my first bounty when I guarantee like it's guaranteed that I won't be able to kill it. And what do you know I didn't at the time. I was like level four. Die. Oh, I've probably got yeah, I've definitely got new stuff here. Let me take a look. Oh, that's right. Increase armor by... Okay, so this is, like, the skill, I guess, they're using for, like, the melee necro. The one that doesn't use pets. So you just get, like, a free, like, double increase on your armor. So, that that's definitely interesting. I'm interested in this melee necro, necromancer. I'm willing to try that. Because I was never a fan of pet builds, but the necromancer might get me into that. 175% weapon damage for the duration. Huh. Okay. And it lasts for six seconds, right? Yeah. Ah, I got a rune. Aha! So that cuts the cost in half. That's nice. We'll use that. Uh, okay, that's that. Is something attacking me? Oh, yeah. I'm fine with corpse explosion. Oh, no, it's me summoning skeletons. And the great thing about the corpse explosion is, like, you generate corpses with any means of death. Or, like, any means, like, you... Any way you kill something. So if you kill stuff with the corpse explosion, you can use it again. And it's awesome. Oh, watch this. Yeah! This is so much fun. Probably head. Yeah, it's up there. I got room for siphon blood. Pulling. Oh, pulling health clubs. That's interesting. So that's like an. That can be an emergency item, I guess. Oh, that's right. Okay, so this is. This one seemed very interesting. It's basically like multi shot. Hmm, I might like this one more. Hmm. We'll see. I'll try stuff out later when I feel like mixing stuff up. I like what I have right now. Oh, look at my skeletons. Oh, well, yeah, look at all them walking in sync. About to drop the hottest mixtape of 2017 right there. Like, doing that walk when they're crouching like while they walk and snapping in rhythm it's great come on corpse explode i feel like sometimes i have to i think it's just because of my weapon it's so slow i have to wait for the attack to stop before it counts my input which is why i don't like attack speed slow attack speed oh did i, did I just get a ring no i got a i got a heart 
Oh, it's right. I can't use it. So there's definitely area of effects. Ooh, can I get him? Nope. Oh no, I did it! I got it! Nice! I didn't think I was gonna get that. You almost never get those at early levels. At least I don't. I'm sure other people do. Uh, okay. I'll just kill this guy. Oh, I don't have any essence. <laughs> you suck. That's the thing is, it doesn't generate passively. Like you have to, you have to actually hit stuff. Cause like you saw, I got some when I hit those jars. Luckily, it's like per enemy hit. I get you get a crap load if you if you can go in and hit like like seven enemies, and you'll have almost full essence. So I'm definitely liking Grim Scythe. Corpses. Okay, we'll do is we'll do that. So it's interesting, like you can, like the little combos you can do, I guess, is you can hit up a curse and get all the enemies in the area and then send the skeletons to go and destroy everything. Is there anything I have that goes on cooldown yet? Everything is essence cost so far. I remember the teeth rune looking a lot different, like smaller teeth. It actually looked more like multi-shot than it does now. I guess it was just from a... Because it was from a video, so it looked like that. When do I get Blood Rush? Because I'm very interested in that. Level 30? Oh my god. This is basically the teleport of the Necromancer. It is. The only difference is it costs health, and it has a, it has a faster cooldown than teleport. But from what I've seen, it looks like it's going to be used in every single Necro build. It's going to be like the vault for Demon Hunter, basically. Yeah. I should be using my other I should be using my other skills, but I'm having so much fun with this generator, man. Ah. Oh. What the hell, man? It's, it's right there. You can see it on the map. Just let me... If I had Blood Rush, I could probably teleport over there. Ugh. Say it. This is why I don't like this tile set. It's, it's it's a maze. And I... There's two similar tile... Or there's a few similar tile sets, I think, like this. And I never can differentiate between them. So I always get lost. Like, I can never learn this tile set. Which is why I hate it for Greater Rifts. Oh! Man. 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 Man, I'm dumb. Holy crap. How did I not see that? I just had to keep going. I thought I was at a dead end. Ugh, blow up the corpses. Yeah, see, it doesn't blow them all up in the range it should. Okay, let's, here we go. Crafting mats always welcome. Yeah, you can die. Oh, it's just white shoulders. Hmm, die. I also chose the uh, the skeleton dog pet bones because it I figured it kind of fits. So <laughs> that was the first pet I ever found. I don't even remember how I got him. I think it it was the season bonus 
or whatever. It was the Season 5 pet, I think. Which was the f when I started playing. I started playing at Season 5. And when I got far enough, I, th I think I got to... I got to whatever chapter you unlock the pet. That might have been ch just been Chapter 4. Because I didn't know anything at that time. <laughs> Oh jeez, hello. Oh yeah, die. Jeez, I didn't get to fire my next uh, thing. Alright, last bounty here. <sighs> oh, that's right, this is one of the new areas. Oh, I didn't even notice. That's right, there's new places in Act 2. Yeah, there's Shrouded Moors, and it leads to the Temple of the Firstborn. I wonder if they'll find a way to work that into the campaign. I doubt it, but that'd be interesting. What the hell? Oh. oh, I definitely said I was going to pick up rings, but I didn't. Yeah, I hope I find a better weapon than this soon, because I don't like slow attack speed. Especially since I'm not used to it for the Impale Demon Hunter. You get so much attack speed buffs on that. So many. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Those are nice. I'm not even sure 30 seconds went by. I don't think I had to do that. What's nice is uh, I noticed you can use the use the command skeletons active, which like commands them to attack an area. And you can use it in a general like vicinity, and they and they seem to attack like the closest thing to that or something. So you don't have to do it directly on an enemy, which is interesting. I just passed by. I'm supposed to go. I get so distracted. Whoa. Well. Oh, uh, that's debatable. I don't know. Look at all that damage. Oh, that's right, this is like I don't I still don't know what that PH means. I mean I know it's like because it's like everything's in beta, so like they have it there, but I don't know what it means. Oh, uh placeholder, I'm willing to bet. Skeleton. Hmm, this necro is probably going around sitting here like what are these piles of bones? Never seen them before. Is that a movement speed bonus? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Oh, it feels nice to have a little bit more movement speed. Oh, I got a skill. Oh, bone armor. Death Nova, Death Nova. Ooh, I like this. Tax speed is always welcome. Let's see. That was a cooldown skill. All right. Rip bones from nearby enemies, dealing weapon damage, create armor. 
Okay, so you can get 30% reduced damage for a minute. So you want to use that when there's like a lot of enemies. Okay, my phone is like blinking still. Did I miss part of... Yeah, I did miss part of the map. That's probably the right way, too. Here. Ugh! So gross, like, it'd be so disgusting to be, like, right next to just corpse splash all over you. It's so dark in here. It's so dark in here. I can't see a thing. Oh no, what a nightmare. I love that show. Well, that's a nice ring. So, Necro can't use bows, I figured out. The wizard can. The wizard can absolutely use bows. Here, see if you can let my skeletons kill the last four enemies. This is the last bounty. Yep. What? Okay, I know where they are. Oh, this uh, set dungeon flashbacks right here. You run into a dead end. There's like three enemies left. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know where they are. You got five seconds, three enemies, and you hit a dead end. Oh, there's one. Yeah, see so you can kill him. Oh, there's more over here. The hell? All right, let's go back to town. All right, let's see what we got here. Excuse you. I think it's hilarious how easily you can get other season journey chapters from within one. I actually, when I got to Guardian in Season 10, which I'm still on, by the way, um, when I got to Guardian, I still had um, only, or I only had, like, one thing left. or two, I only have two things left, so I already had, I think there's, what, like, six things to do? Six or eight things? I had two left, and it's complete the next... Complete a third conquest, and, uh, uh, what was the other one? I don't even remember what the last one was. Um, I'm selling the gems I don't use just for gold. I think I can upgrade the others now. Uh, do that. Oh, is my jazz over? Damn. That CD did not last a long time. Well, it's nice having lots of gold. Oh, I got blood shards. Okay, next artisan level. <laughs> oh, I can probably craft a flawless square. Need a train. Nope, need level 8. Yeah, I want to... I want to hit level 70 as fast as possible, but I'm not asking for a power level so I can, like, experience the... Wow, I never sat and looked at this. Huh, looks nice. I like that one. The jeweler thing there. Um, I never sat and actually looked... Uh, sorry, I sat and played all the way to 70 in a while. So I'm gonna do it with this Necromancer and not be power leveled. I've seen a lot of people asking for that, and I'm like, really? You don't wanna... The point of the beta is to, is to test things out, so see how it feels to go to 70 by yourself. Because then when you get to level 70, you have all these skills, and you got to try them out all at once. you got nothing to nothing to learn on the way. I feel like that's actually a disadvantage. You see, attack speed of those by... Ooh, 15%. Oh, I, I like this. We'll do that. Uh, hmm. We'll do that. Okay. Okay, can I ice cube? But first we're going to erase the difficulty. So let's do that. Usually I have a timer going on my phone, but I guess I didn't do that because I haven't recorded in a very long time. Uh, we'll do expert. Still want to do stuff at least a little quickly. 
but get a little more reward, you know? Alright, what do we got? He's got blood shards, we're gonna save those. I need to go buy a ring. Holy hell. Man, staffs don't even attack faster. Like, what's wrong with this thing? The thing about going from a legendary to, a, like, a better item that's not legendary is they don't have as many stats or as many properties. So it kind of sucks. Oh, let's go check out the other vendors. Should probably start rifting soon. I'll wait till I do all five sets of bounties and get Kanai's Cube and something to put in Kanai's Cube, like a convention of elements. Oh, I need another ring, so... Hmm. What's this one? Intelligence. Crit chance, vitality. Ah, uh, it's dex based. I'll take this one. Am I get about to get this book twice? Oh, okay, I was about to say. Okay, let's go get the cube. Ruins of Sesheron. Definitely my favorite place in this game. I don't know, something about areas like in games that are like. Like, people used to be here, and this is, like, once a, a big civilization. Ruins. It's now in ruins. Holy crap, how did I not die? I'm forgetting to use all my other skills. Then again, I'm also used to the Impale Demon Hunter, where pretty much you hit everything all at once, and then spam Impale. Well, oh, it's the Guardian dude. Uh, control impairing effects. There we go. And now things are starting to pick up. <laughs> Whoa, he's draining my health. What's this again? Oh, that's right, bone armor. Whoa. I've had that luxury of vengeance for too far long, or far too long. Whoa! Here, you gonna come over here? Yeah. some essence back. Okay, real fast, so I'm going to put my music back on. <laughs> there. Probably hear going to the same stuff from before because I didn't feel like changing the disc. Very fitting for this type of game, I know. Move in. Ooh, those are gonna wreck me.
Oh, I shouldn't be spamming that. I feel like they should have put a cooldown on Command Skeletons. Because not only can you spam it and keep it up, it, although it costs a lot of essence. Nah, I gotta cut through that. Um, but you can keep that buff active permanently. And it seems a little bit overpowered for this state. Well, I'll definitely take that. Oh, really, Kazura Arena? Oh, I'm not doing the bounty here. I'm just doing uh, the cube. Dude, blow up. You can see, even see me down hitting the hotkey, and sometimes it just doesn't go off because of the slow attack speed. Technically, you have to wait for that attack to finish. No, I need to go up. Yeah. Let's try to cut around the arena. Normally, I don't fight my way through Ruins of Seshron to the cube, but I think I will just for learning the, the sake of showing off the Necro, learning it. This is fun, I haven't done this in a while. Just played, I'm so used to the endgame grind where all you do is riffs. Yeah, just run around and hit that corpse. Probably check my skills again. Wouldn't it be great if I was just missing out on something right now? Let's see what we got? Corpse Lance. I mean, it does a lot of damage. Eh, nothing else new. Hit that reflection pool? Uh, yeah, I was up there. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I gotta go up. Okay, I got Frailty and Revive. I think I'll skip on those two because I think I know what they do. Actually, isn't Frailty the curse that kills everything when it's below a certain life threshold? Which basically, basically cuts off the life. I got an Enchantress focus. Oh, I didn't do a follower. Man. And I got a Templar Relic. Hold on a sec. Let's go get a follower. It's probably be a lot more helpful. I don't think I want to select the first skill yet. We'll see how things turn out. Um, we'll do that since I have uh, this. I don't know if that has to do with anything, but get the point. 
just tried to corpse explode like an idiot. Gotta have corpses. The thing I like about the Necro is that you have three resources to manage. Like you thought Demon Hunter was crazy with you have hatred and discipline. Well, this new this one you have essence, corpses, and life. So it definitely makes it interesting with resource management. Okay, where the hell? <laughs> I have... Usually I don't have this much trouble. Oh, I've never seen this entrance before. That was confusing. <laughs> I guess I've just had very similar loadouts the whole time. I got a got an achievement. Bone spear. It's probably hit a certain number of enemies with a bone spear. see my alt command was up or the the tool tips I wonder how many uh, things I've missed because that was accidentally on so we got death nova okay there's that let this devour Whoa. Ah, yeah. 120 seconds. So these are like the... Wow, the, these are like the big... The big, like, cooldown things. Powerful. Big cooldown. Do crap loads of damage in a small amount of time. I see that. Okay, yeah, that's the one. Oh, I just did my freaking Shadow Power and Vengeance combo. <laughs> oh, someone got a Haraja Hamburger. Yeah, boom. <laughs> so adjusting into this play style. <laughs> Trying. Yeah, really want to go through there. Oh yeah, dude, it's experience. Bam. You destroy so much. I'm in the Elder Sanctum, so I should be at the... 
cube place soon. It is a little difficult to see the corpses through all the enemies, so you just kind of got to guess if you can't see them. I got a new passive. Oh, it's just out of range. <laughs> Take a look. I guess siphon blood. Okay, you slow them while you siphon blood from them. Okay, yeah, ice golem. Hmm. Ah, okay, so that increases your duration of your like summon things. Probably some of the only lore books I actually like listening to, because you'll notice that I close some of them out almost right away, because I've heard them like a hundred times. But I definitely enjoy listening to the to the last of the barbarians. Oh well, that that one didn't last long. Come on, explode! I think they definitely should look into reworking the. The amount of times that you can use that, because, I mean, to be fair, it, it is a little, or it's, it's very powerful, but still, it doesn't make that much sense that you, I mean, it does specify all corpses within a certain amount of, with a certain distance. Are those socketed pants? They are! No corpses. <laughs> now there are. There's one. It's fun when you get a whole bunch going and then you just destroy everything within a matter of seconds. Boom, look at that. Corpse, corpse mania. Yep, there we go. I took out the rest of them with all that. That's pretty awesome. It's kind of fun. You can just wave your mouse around the screen and hit one button. And there you go. made it. Yep. Hello. All right, there we go. We'll sit with that scythe for now. Uh, how much gold do we got? We got quite a bit. At least for this early. Let's 
got no socketed weapon. Alright, well, I think I'll go ahead and call it a day for the meantime. So, I guess, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll see you guys next time for probably more Necromancer beta gameplay. See y'all then.